Hello, my name is Mary Clements and I am the founder of the company Les Petits Pommes French Programs. Since 2009, we have helped thousands of children learn and feel confident en français through our award-winning online and in-person camps and tutoring programs. Today, I'm very excited to be talking about our new branch, Les Petites Pum Publishing, and the journey of creating our very first book, Chez Mami. Before you hear from the other members of our team, I wanted to let you know how we ended up here. Like everyone in 2020, we were facing great challenges, and for us, the big question was, how are we going to continue to create positive French learning experiences in the face of COVID-19? For many years, we observed from our students and their parents that finding appropriate leveled French readers for second language learners wasn't so easy. We felt that with our French teaching expertise, we would have a lot to offer in this space. So in June 2020, we decided to create our very own French leveled reader series called Nos Histoires, Our Stories. The purpose of this project would be twofold. Number one, to provide an excellent French language learning resource for FSL students. And number two, to present stories that are diverse, inclusive, and increase visibility for underrepresented communities. The second point is very important to us as we envisioned a learning tool that reflects a fuller spectrum of stories from gender, race, physical ability, religion, age, family structures, culture, socioeconomic status, and more. So, to achieve this aspect, we reached out to those in various communities and invited those who were interested in contributing to creating a positive and inclusive educational tool to share their stories with us. This was just the beginning of the process, and today we're going to go behind the scenes about how we went from a story graciously shared with us by Nadine Burke about her trip to her grandparents' farm in Picton, Ontario when she was young, to our first French leveled reader called Chez Mami. Voici l'histoire de Chez Mami. Nadine a 9 ans. Elle adore visiter ses grands-parents à leur farm pendant les vacances d'été à Picton, en Ontario. Là, ils cultivent plusieurs aliments et font des activités amusantes. Accompagnez Nadine et sa famille dans leurs aventures à la femme. Our first interviewee was my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so I, <laughs> I had to start like cutting my teeth on figuring out what kinds of questions to ask those people, what kinds of stuff to help them prepare to know before they even started talking to me properly. It was it, it was it was really easy and really fun for her to tell me the story and to get to connect to what is essentially my heritage and people I never got to meet. Now the memories I have of my grandmother is when my parents used to take us to their house in Picton. And in their house, uh, to get to their house in Picton, we would drive on uh, hills up and down, up and down, up and down. It was really a lot of fun. <laughs> so when we got there, um, my my grandmother was a a grand a grandparent and she um it, i really enjoyed being with her mm -hmm. and uh, what i have are memories of her petting the cat and the cat had two different colored eyes working in the garden and she she never bent down hi my name is john burke uh, on our book project i manage the overall project i conduct interviews and also I consult on uh, the educational and language components. We chose my mom, Nadine Burke, because I think I was pretty sure she had she already had an idea of a story that she could share. So it was it was it was easy for us to follow through and use that as kind of a, a guidepost. Once I started really getting my fingers into the process, it was it was about making it easier for everyone having everyone not just have clear jobs, but for it to flow easily from one person to another. So it became, I do, I, I, I make contact with people and do the interviews, and then I make some really, some better notes for Juana, so she could get super good at making a really great story. And once that story's done, we've both come up with like images and stuff that we think should really pop out when it comes to, for instance, George, creating the images for it. So the first thing that I did was just go over and watch the interview that John had done. Watched it, I think, like a couple of times. I just take notes uh, while I am listening to what they're saying and trying to come up with like what would be the best or the most interesting images that call to me. And 
I just started writing for, from there, the first draft. Uh, I was actually really nervous because like, I felt like it's very different when you speak a language and then when you have to write it down. And since I also, like my mother language is a Roman language, so I tend to confuse a lot of the structures, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. So hi, my name is Juana Carolina Santos Milachai. I am Juana Santos here in Canada for short, and I am the writer of the story stuff. I take the beautiful stories that you guys give to us, see your interviews and just turn them into the, the best stories that I can. Because that this is a story that speaks to people who live here in Canada. And uh, I feel that, that that is just wonderful. It's something that, because I love seeing Francophone population in Canada being represented here. It's like not Francophone in the sense that you are born from a French family, but just the fact that you are learning from it and you learn about your own environment, your own city, your own, your own country, your own province through this. It speaks a lot to you because it's like it shows that language is not just this task or this thing that you're learning to pass exams at school. It's something that you can really use to put something from yourself out there. The way I uh, started preparing for the book was uh, even before the story was complete, I started um, with uh, character sketches, um, a few variations of, uh, of Nadine and, and the other characters, her brothers here. John sent uh, some pictures of uh, the family um, from back in the 60s. I was trying to uh, and capture the uh, the styles of uh, the outfits and the the distinct car, right up to the smallest uh, details, like um, the the suitcase that uh, Nadine would bring, um, that actually says uh, going to grandma's. There were real suitcases back then that um, matched perfectly with the uh, storyline. Hi there, I'm George Wastel, and I'm the illustrator of uh, the Chez Mami book in the Nos Histoires stories. When I'm making the artwork, uh, I relate it to my own experiences. I um, spent the summers in the trailer, um, out in nature, um, driving through countryside is, is a familiar memory. Just the fact that it's a beautiful art piece, art piece all in all, like <laughs> all the pieces go so well together and the way that the text got translated into art, I'm so 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 happy with it. It makes me cry every time I see it. Many of the students that I've tutored during this time in Canada um, see French as this thing that they have to complete like because they're taking classes in French and many don't think about the possibilities of what learning a new language opens up for you but also it just opens your mind to new worlds entirely and I really really hope that whoever reads this story feels a warm hug from it <laughs> in a sense like I, I really want them to just like the book like they would like any other book uh, in their library and, and don't think about French it being in French as an obstacle for them to enjoy it I think there are two or three things I'm really hoping for the students who use these stories. Um, but even if I just talk about this one, I hope I hope they can see themselves. I want it to make learning language fun, not a job, because that's what I think it should be. It should be something fun, and you just do anyway to do the things that you love. So you know, it's it's uh, a lot of. Um, spending time with them, her cooking, um, the, the lilac trees, and I would be coming into the house and I could run right to her to tell her what happened in my day and she would always listen to me and it was a real joy. And, 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 and so maybe that's what I took from her is oh. I passed it on the art of listening she, because she listened to me.